this is an old piece of chain and a really old uh, axe head that I found at work so I'm going to have a go at making uh, a new axe out of it it looks like the old head of the axe has been in a fire at some point so I need to drill it out which I'll uh, I'll drill it out now I'm going to use my battery grinder just to clean up the surface. Uh, this this grinder is a Kielder. It's uh, it's an electric battery grinder. It's uh, it's been pretty good to be honest. The batteries are quite good. Last quite a while. Maybe worth a look at. The face of this axe head. It's got a second point on it, which I think is um, to help the logs split, possibly for decoration. So I'm going to try and keep the shape of that because it'll make it look a little bit better when the axe is um, cleaned up and painted. So now I'm just removing the welded in old handle, which I grinded away, knock that out and then I can put my new handle on there and cover the top up. Now I'm just filling in any holes that was in the surface with um, some weld just to give us a bit of a better finish at the end, because I don't want to use a body filler on it or anything like that. So I'm just doing a spot of pre-cleaning, just getting ready for the uh, welding process. So I'm just giving it the chain a clean up before it's all welded together to make the handle. This has come out really nice, so I'm going to weld the other sides up and uh, make sure it's a nice strong handle. So my little dog shit eBay welder. Decided to pack up, so I'm going to take it apart quickly, uh, repair it, put it back together, hope it works, and uh, try not to blow it up again because these big welding rods are killing it welding this uh, chain handle. Okay, so that's the welder fixed. Let's have another go and hopefully it does not blow up this time. And a bit of advice, don't buy a welder off eBay. But unfortunately I don't have room for anything bigger. Now the chain handle is all welded together, I'm just going to give it a light clean up. And uh, just smooth the surface out so when it's ready for paint, the, uh, it's nice and smooth. So we're back with a Mickey Mouse welder and I'm hoping to fill this hole around the handle and attach the handle to the head of the axe. So it'll take a bit of time because this welder trips out every five minutes. I've decided to put some silver powder coat on the handle just to make it a little bit stronger and then I can um, I won't be chipping it and damaging it as I throw it around and let people see it paints a bit of a soft touch on stuff like this on the on a handle this uh, my powder cutting gun was off ebay it was about 100 pound um it's good for hobby sort of stuff spraying chromes or metallic colors are quite difficult with a diy powder cutting gun it does work it just you just need a little bit more powder so i've put the piece of work in my homemade powder coating oven leave it in there at 200 degrees for about 25 minutes and then come back and it should be a bit, a little bit more shiny while I bake the axe in the oven I'm just going to cut out the capping plate for the top of the axe handle where the old handle is welded in so I'm just going to form this and um, then I'm going to weld it in This is a new end cap, I'm going to weld it on, knock it down flat and then um, sand over it and just uh, make it smooth so it'll give a nice finish to the top of the hammer instead of seeing a big dirty hole.
this is Phil Aparama fills any small sanding marks in your piece of work you can see the little bubbles coming to the surface that's the solvent evaporating too quick because the axis heads a little bit warm it won't make no difference what we're doing either so I left it to dry overnight so now we'll give it a sand down basically we're just trying to make the surface as flat as possible obviously it's a really old axe but that's the that's the aim is just to get a flat smooth surface and I'm using 800 grit paper which is more than enough for this because we've used a black primer we'll only need one coat of top coat black which is uh, a matte black I'm using I'm gonna put a clear coat over the top of it I think this is a bit of a badass axe so I made a little sticker at work a little vinyl so you'll have to see what you think it's a bit cheeky but looks good so this is the last coat of um clear coat now first and last coat I'm just gonna put one coat on it the weather is absolutely freezing in England at the moment so it's not coming out very well but we'll just do the best usually um, lacquer clear coat as they call it in America will, will level off as it warms up when I put it in my uh, in my little oven to, to dry Right, so we're at the end of the restoration. This is the uh, parts before, and there it is after. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, or if any ideas for anything else I can do. See you later, guys.